In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your John Deere CP770 or CS770 for accurate recording during your harvest operation. We'll be using a G5 Plus display to review basic navigation, but if you have a Gen 4, no problem. You'll be able to follow along. First, navigate to the Setup button in the bottom left corner of your display. Select the Client, Farm and Field that represents where you're working in the field. This display will default to nearby fields, but you can select the View All button if you want to select or create a different field. Be sure to use correct naming structures to ensure you gather accurate data you can use to make decisions in online tools like John Deere Operations Center. Now, under the Equipment section, you can review your machine's serial number, GPS offsets, and header setup and configuration. Under the Header Settings button, you can configure certain row units to be disabled for documentation and alarms. For example, if you're harvesting in a skip row configuration, you can easily toggle off the required row units. Select Save to store your changes and continue. Now, document the operator's name in the Details section. This ensures the operator's name will be associated to the data the machine sends to the operation center. Next, enter the variety you're harvesting. If you recorded your varieties correctly during planting, you can also send a variety locator map from your operation center organization. The picker or stripper will then automatically record the correct variety to align with what was planted. Next, select the desired harvest units of measurement and lint turnout percentage. If desired, you can also fill in the gin and producer ID fields. These details can be useful if you deliver cotton to multiple gin locations, and they make it easier to identify and send the correct module data to the correct gin within Operation Center. Finally, select OK to complete the work setup process. On the main Guidance Run page, select the Guidance app from the shortcut bar and ensure that AutoTrack is enabled. Next, select the Advanced Setting buttons at the top where you can turn AutoTrack Row Sense on and off. Navigate back to the main Guidance Run page by closing the overlays. You'll now see a Row Sense status indicator in the bottom right of the screen. Touching this indicator gives you more information about the current status of RowSense and a diagnostic checklist, which will show any prerequisites that need to be met for RowSense to operate. Within the RowSense settings page, sensor offsets can be applied to optimize the machine's position within the row. If you're experiencing undesirable guidance performance, we recommend completing a RowSense sensor calibration, which can be done by selecting the CAL button at the bottom left and following the instructions. You're now ready to start harvesting. Your display features a helpful set of default run pages configured to provide key information you need to monitor the operation in real time. Use the arrows at the top right of the display to navigate between Overview, Harvesting, Work Monitor, Guidance, and Harvest ID Cotton Pro Run Pages. On the HID Cotton Pro Run page, you can review the details for each bale that's been dropped, and you can add a custom note to the most recently dropped bale as needed, such as torn wrap. Go back to the Harvesting Overview Run page. Here, you can review the current bale's building progress, including accumulator fill level and a visual of the current bale size in the module section. The exact bale diameter is shown on the PDU display on the corner post. After touching the Auto button to eject the module, the bale is weighed on the module handler and once confirmed, its weight is displayed on the screen. Finally, selecting the Module Building Area of the Cotton Harvester displayed on the screen gives you Module Builder options, allowing you to adjust the module size, compactor auger behavior, wrap portions, and handler auto position. Remember, with the free JD-Link connected service, your machine can upload yield, module, and machine data to Operations Center securely and automatically. 
Your John Deere dealer can help make sure you're set up for JD Link connected service, or check out our how to video linked in the video description. Thanks for watching.